first it's an important gathering. It brings out uh, different ladies and then men around the world. It's not an event only for women. It's not an event for men, otherwise we would have missed the opportunity that is offered to both the sexes which uh, make 50 and 50 uh, each to make a society, that is, the two. Second thing, we have a powerful delegation also here from Morocco, from ladies, very good ladies, and then they are key speakers. I would be happy also to meet them and see how we could contribute in bringing the knowledge about Morocco's women and then what they have done in this August gathering. It's taking place in India, uh, with, with, which we call the largest democracy in the world, and it has given large portion of power to women and um, has seen great leaders. So there is a very important experience to build on in this country and it has all its sense. Now, that is the, and the, one of the <clears throat> good examples that you're being here and then you're looking around for men and women making both their interviews and see how the media can also be part of this event and then powerful India and powerful media also in this country. Power is a very large concept. It can be moved from the exerting power, it can be also moved from indirect power like the media, it can be also the, the power of the environment and a man has to team the power and then adjust himself to the kind of power it can use. And when I say man, it's like a human being, it's not only a woman or a man. So power should be somehow shared. But there is one observation which I would like to bring about. Everybody talks that we should share power with women. Everybody should say that we need to give the equality. But then how far have we, have we been able to implement it? That's a very big question. Because uh, Power remains elusive, but it also can be in the hands of men and in the hands of women. And then the best and the best power and the best powerful person on earth is the one who can find the just milieu, the equilibrium between what should be used in terms of uh, governance, what should be also used in terms of uh, of soft power. So there are so many ways of powers and uh, I don't know from which side you want me to clarify or to go on, but power is a very, very large concept, which we hopefully could uh, hold alternately between men and women. Oh, soft power, it has quite large uh, different meanings. Soft power means uh, culture, soft power means Soft diplomacy, soft power means kindness, soft power means uh, the things which can help in bringing around, let's say for instance, the strong and the hard diplomacy is what we entail, or what we are trying to do. The, but then uh, we should have certain ingredients, certain also elements that help us in making it. India has a very strong power, for instance, in culture. For a long heritage, Morocco is being the oldest uh, dynasty almost in the world, and uh, with the long heritage, also it has that soft power. It can be in the region also. It, is. it can be uh, in in terms of projecting a very good image, and also not being able to use the strong power to reach the objectives. So there are a few elements which can use. You are using also the media is a very soft power because it can is in that binding. But it can change the minds of people, it can also change the concepts of people, it can also help in understanding better, but also in diverting the, the views of people, because the media is a manipulator, but it should be manipulated in the good sense, that is, to serve the people and to serve both men and women. I can tell you that the oldest university in the world exists in Morocco that was built by a lady. And then ladies have been always associated, despite being a Muslim society, but the true concept of Islam. Even in the time of the Prophet, ladies were using and then were part of the man's jobs and then they were also in wars in helping in other ways. 
And I think in Morocco we have been quite conscious of this. And then throughout all our governments since independence from the protectors of France, we have had women uh, always in parliament and always in, in, uh, as ministers. There is what we call also the, the positive discrimination. That is, to allow women have a share in the parliament and then express their views and then represent the youth also. So it, uh, I think in comparison with other countries uh, in our region, we have gone so far in this, in this capacity. And then they have proven to be quite able also. They have proven to be quite uh, equal to men in so many ways, including in defense, including in uh, sectors which used to be thought of only as men's uh, almost hegemony. So the ladies should be given their chance and ladies should overcome this idea of we should give them no, we should get into the implementation of what they are. There's also parts from the women that they could do, both in my country and in yours. They should also be able to step in and then sometimes avoid this stereotype idea of being manipulated, of the stereotype of this part cannot be led by women, no. I think uh, we'll give them their chance and then they will prove the strength they have and they're very strong, I can tell you. Equality starts by education. We should be able to give equal chances to the different uh, parts, different kinds of uh, population in each country to have a decent education. And then this part of the responsibility of the governments we should be able to provide very good quality education for both children, men, and then uh, women. We should be also uh, make the women as uh, as part of all these policies which we are making, uh, because they are closer to their children. They know the needs of their children, and. The most affected area should be given much more importance, that is the remote areas, the rural areas. In Morocco, I've been able for the last few years to compensate the work of the children by helping the families, that is, whatever the children can bring in terms of wealth to their parents, we should be able to give them this part of wealth so that the children will be let and will be given the equal chances to the children. So education through its you can change the world, you can also change the standards of living, you can also change the, uh, the quality of life. And uh, women being parts, of course, women being part of all this, being closer also to children, um, knowing also the needs of the children, they are, in fact, whenever there is a break in the family, it's almost the, the, the uh, women which are taking the the other parts. It's a call I am launching for men to be responsible as much as women are responsible in front of their children. So this, I should congratulate also India for having made a great uh, advance in terms of education, in terms of uh, uh, women's education as well, and in the quality of education, which is uh, something to be applauded of, and then which probably can be like a, a very good late motive for all the other countries and developing countries, both in Africa and then in the Arab world, and then also in the in developing world, whatever it is. And then um, we are looking at India as a very good example to follow, particularly in this matter. And I hope we'll be able to reach. But then um, let me conclude by saying everybody speaks about giving women their rights. And then all people will agree about this concerns, but then how far have we been able to accept it? And then how far are we able to step a little bit down to lead these women? That is a very good question. Because if we agree on the concept, then what should we agree on the implementation? That's part of the society, which um, is a very strong soft power that could be used. And then that's why we can see the ramification of so many NGOs throughout the world, uh, which main objective is to give a better standard of life for women, 
for health, for education, for uh, for uh, basic necessities, and then I think um, uh, we should be proud of the NGOs and then the work they are doing. And then I have seen in this uh, gathering today of women's economic forum how able the women are and then how able they can lead the world and uh, it's their age i think to empower them seriously